Hi everyone, I'm Miss Colleen. I've got something exciting to share with you. Can you guess what it is? If you guessed that we're learning from a new book of the Bible this week, you're right! We're starting a brand new series. The Bible is God's word to us, his people. We'll be learning from the Old Testament book of Joshua in our series, and we'll learn about how God always keeps his promises. Now, Joshua was written before Jesus was born. It's part of the Old Testament, but in all the stories that we read, we'll see how they point to Jesus and his coming. Let's jump in and see what God was doing. All throughout the Bible, there are Jesus moments. In the Old Testament, Jesus hadn't come to this earth yet, but there are a lot of people who point us to him and his promises. A long, long time ago, there was a man named Abraham. God spoke to Abraham and told him he would give Abraham an amazing place to live called the Promised Land. God also promised Abraham he would have a family so big they would become a huge group of people who would be set apart for God. They would be God's special chosen people and the name God gave them was the Israelites. Abraham eventually died but his family grew and grew and grew and they moved to another country called Egypt. The Egyptian king didn't like the Israelites, so he was mean to them and made them his slaves. Slaves are people who are forced to work, but they don't get paid. After many years of being slaves, God spoke to a man named Moses, who was one of the Israelites. God told Moses to lead his special people, the Israelites, out of Egypt into the place he promised Abraham many years before. The Egyptian king didn't want the Israelites to go, so God sent 10 different plagues or troubles on the Egyptians and the king finally let them go. God helped Moses lead his people out of Egypt, but God's people questioned whether or not God was good. They had been in Egypt for so long they didn't know God and, and they didn't know if he could be trusted. So they complained because they were hungry and thirsty and tired. God gave them water to drink and food to eat. But the Israelites didn't trust that God would take care of them. So they wandered in the desert for 40 years. The whole time God kept showing them that he was faithful and good and he would take care of them. After 40 years, God's people would finally go to the land God had promised Abraham hundreds of years before. Moses died, and this is where our story of Joshua begins. God chose Joshua to lead his special people into a place he had promised to give them. Joshua points us to Jesus, who will one day lead us to the promised land called heaven. God chose Joshua to lead his special people into the land that he had promised to give them long ago. Three times God told Joshua to be strong and to be brave. God would always love his people and he would always be with them. And then God reminded Joshua and the Israelites to follow the laws that he had given them and things would go well for them. Then Joshua told the people, it's time to go home. And the people said to Joshua, God is with you just like he was with Moses. We will follow you just like we followed Moses. We will be strong and brave. Let's pause here and sing a song to worship God. God loves us so much and one way we can show our love to God is through singing. Hi Riv Kids, my name is Miss Kristen. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. Miss Alex is gonna join us in a second to help us with the movements for this song. If you remember, worship is just praising God in every area of our lives. Please stand and sing with me as we sing our memory verse song for the book of Joshua. Thank you, Miss Kristen. Will you all stand to worship with me so we can sing our memory verse song for the series of Joshua? Have I not commanded you? Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. Be strong and courageous. Whoa. For the Lord your God is with you. For the Lord your God is with you. Wherever you go, wherever you go. Wherever you go, go, go. 
Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. Be strong and courageous. Whoa, for the Lord your God is with you. For the Lord your God is with you. Wherever you go, wherever you go. Joshua was going to lead God's people into the land he had promised them hundreds of years before. God loved his people and he would always be with them. Let's do our memory verse for this week. It'll be the same verse all summer long so that by the end of the summer we'll all have the same verse memorized. All right, it's Joshua 1 9. Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. Let's do some hand motions to help us remember our verse. Repeat after me. Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. Let's do it again. Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. Let's do it one more time. Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. God is faithful, which means he always keeps his promises. He led his people into a land he had promised hundreds of years before. He also promised to send a savior to take away our sins. And he sent Jesus. And when we trust in Jesus, he takes away our sins and he brings us into God's family forever. Our big idea this week is trust in God's faithfulness. Let's do some different voices to help us remember that big idea. Let's start with a pirate voice. Arg! So get on your pirate voices. Trust in God's faithfulness. Yar! Now let's do a singy voice. Put on your singing voices. Trust in God's faithfulness. 
Okay, let's end with a loud voice. Trust in God's faithfulness. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. You and your grown up can find fun activities that will go with our talk on the RIV website. Let's pray. God, thank you that you are faithful and that you always keep your promises. I pray that each one of us here will trust in Jesus as our Savior and that we can be part of your family forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye. See you next time.